Hello world! It's Wendy. I had my pre-op uh, testing done today. If you can't tell, I have my little arm bracelet and then my uh, <laughs> blood works scar. <laughs> they took eight vials of blood today. So that's something you have to look forward to if you're doing this. <laughs> And then um, after they did the blood work, then they um, did a breathing test where they gave me this machine and I have to breathe through this uh, 10 times in a row, four times a day. So it goes like this. And then I breathe. And then I breathe again. I'm supposed to hold it three seconds, but you get the point. It's not a lot of fun. Um, the reason they're doing that is in case there's a leak um, after my surgery that this breathing test will be how they tell if there's a, a leak or not and if there's a problem. So I have to do that two weeks before surgery and then mm. two weeks after surgery and four times a day and then I have to do it um, every hour while I'm in the hospital. So that should be fun. Uh, after the breathing test uh, they did an EKG and my heart was fine. Then they did an ultrasound of my stomach and uh, they looked at my pancreas and my kidneys and they had to press so hard for the ultrasound that I probably have bruises <laughs> on my stomach. Then after we got done with that uh, they took me in to have an upper GI and with that they um, had me drink this really bad thick liquid like Elmer's glue in a cup that was like huge and after the thick liquid then they had me drink another huge cup of white chalk stuff like and it was awful it tasted awful and then they had you roll around on the table after <laughs> after you got it all drank I thought I was gonna slosh off the table <laughs> Um, but th that's what all my testing was today and uh, then they sent me some paperwork um, so I can keep track and document uh, how many times I use the breathing machine then they sent me my pre-op testing requirements that I have to have a psychological evaluation which I have that I have to attend small group, which I have, a support group. Uh, then they're going to give me a history and physical when I have the surgery. Then they gave me paperwork to write down all the prescription and medication I'm on. Then um, they ask questions that I'm going to learn in the nutrition class. And some of the questions they ask is, after surgery I need to drink how many ounces of fluid each day? I have no idea. <laughs> and, uh, how many grams of protein do I need to consume every day after surgery? I believe it's 80 grams. Um, the dumping syndrome is associated with what symptoms listed. I think it's shakiness, dizziness, nausea, diarrhea, and low blood pressure, but I'm not sure. And then list two vitamins and minerals that I must take for the rest of my life after gastric bypass. I I think it's multivitamins and calcium, but anyway, that's some of the stuff that I'm going to learn in the nutrition class. So that's coming up next. That's coming up Thursday. It's from 8.30 to 4.30. So that's my next thing on the list to get done. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I had the pre-op testing today and it went great. Um, in my next video, uh, I'm bringing in a professional. <laughs> I'm going to talk about hair loss and uh, what you can do for that. 
Uh, my daughter just graduated from a Veda Fredericks Institute and um, she has information for people who are like cancer patients and things like that on products that you can use uh, to help keep your hair uh, as well as vitamins and things that you can take to make your hair stronger and grow but for losing, not losing your hair, um, there's special shampoos that she's going to go over with us that we can use. So that'll be my next video, I hope. So stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.